Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Scott Palmer, Dave Roberts, Lisa Thomas-Laurie, and Mark Howard. Finally this noon, Don Pollock introduces us to a man who has trouble getting in the last word in his own house, and for reasons you may not have guessed. When Dan Cohen comes home from work after a hard day, he never has to worry whether anything unexpected may have happened in his house while he was gone. Alexander takes care of all that. No, Alexander isn't a butler or a live-in custodian in his house. Alexander. Mm, what you got? Alexander is his house. Ceiling fan high. An automated, interconnected cyber organism in Upper Providence Township, complete with a rooftop weather station and an attitude straight Alexander. out of Stanley Kubrick's imagination. What now? Let's have a fire. That has automated capabilities that go far beyond the clapper in a residence with seemingly more cameras and sensors than CIA headquarters. What's the outside temperature? The outside temperature is 42 degrees. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. The house is watching over everything. The computer knows that we're in this room. If we walk over there, it knows we walked over there. Since everything can talk to everything, the house can have some brains and can think about things. It will know when to water the lawn, not just by knowing if it's raining right now, but how much rain we've had in the last 24 hours. This house has probably seven miles of wire ran. Connecting, for example, the vibration sensors in the kitchen floor to the lights in the kitchen ceiling. And that make Dan Cohen's 10-year project the ultimate demonstrator model. Watch ABC. Of all of the many different technologies whose convenience and safety factors Look at driveway. he hopes to provide to people who are blind or deaf or handicapped through the company that he's starting that will specialize in making a person's house more like a member of their family. He wakes us up in the morning. Uh, it starts off with the phone ringing. And in my son's case, if he doesn't get up, it gets a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> Well, it's all the kind of technology that no doubt will continue to advance to a point where someday the house will be able to uh, interact with the uh, people coming to the front door, able to respond to key phrases like, uh, excuse me, I'm selling magazine subscriptions for... Now that's something you've needed for years. Don Pollock, Channel 6 Action News. Yeah, I like the weather part of that. I should get that and never have to come into work to give you the forecast. That's a good idea. We understand that Don's wife actually is going to have that installed in her house so the door automatically closes on Don. Oh. He never lets him in. Yeah, but does Alexander do the dishes, clean up around the house? You know, you do just you can't answer all those questions no. in a minute 30, you know? You really can't. That's why we'll say Disney's Easter Parade is next here on 6 ABC. Action News continues at 6 with Anita Brickman, Phil Andrews, and Sally Ann Mosey. Now for Anita, Michelle McCormack, David Murphy, Jack Brayboy, and the entire Action News team. I'm Scott Palmer. Have a great Sunday, everybody, and happy Easter.